hello how are you guys doing listen welcome to the channel and welcome to this tutorial on how to troubleshoot common vocal mixing problems that can occur in fl studio so look one of the most common issues that can arise when mixing your vocals is clipping and clipping occurs when the level of the vocals are too high and exceed the maximum level that the audio file can handle and this can result in a distorted sound to the vocals so to fix this problem you have to just lower the level of the vocals using the fader on the mixer. You'll also want to check the settings of any plugins that are being used on the vocals, such as your compressor or limiters, and just make sure that they are not pushing the levels too high. Because with your compressor, you know you have the gain there and the threshold. You don't want the threshold to be so low that the gain is just maxing out the sound as high as it can go. You want to make sure that that gain is leveled and controlled and that you're in control of your output. Another common problem that you can run into when mixing vocals is a muddy sound. And muddy sounds are just caused by like a lot of frequencies in the vocals just overlapping each other. So it makes the other ones quiet and low and low and low, which result in like a lack of clarity in what you're saying. But to fix this problem, all you have to do is use an EQ. And with that EQ, you're gonna cut out some of the lower frequency in that vocal and just use a high pass filter to remove any unwanted low end frequencies. Like really the biggest thing about vocal mixing I'll say is if you want to really learn mixing, focus on EQing. EQing is very like, you know, important and detrimental to that mix. So you wanna go ahead and make sure that you're EQing it the right way. But another problem that you could run into is distortion. And distortion may happen, you know, when the vocals are a little too loud in relation to the music. So similar to clipping, but clipping can lead to distortion. But you fix distortion easily by using the compressor just like how you would have to if it was clipping. But with the compressor, you just lower the level of the vocals, you know, because they could be too loud in relation to the music that you're creating. And you'll also want to check the output levels. So the vocals and the music are actually balanced. And by the music, I'm talking about the beat. You want to make sure that the beat and the vocals are leveled with each other. Because think about it, if the beat is too loud and distorting, that means that that bass is really smacking hard and thumping. And you don't want it to be doing that because it's just a harsh sound on the ears. And the last problem that I could think of that's like a common issue is like harshness of vocals. And this happens when there's too many high frequencies in the vocal mix. So to combat this, you'll want to EQ, right? But with the EQ, you're gonna, instead of cutting out the low frequencies, cut it out the high ones, okay? Cut out the high ones in the vocals and then just use a de plug plugin to reduce the amount of sibilance. And again, the sibilance is just like the S sounds, the Ds, the k k k the, the, the overly piercing noises, okay? But these are just a few examples of common vocal mixing problems that can easily be fixed in FL Studio. But you just have to remember to always use your ears and make the small adjustments until you get the desired sound that you want. But I hope that this video was like really helpful for you guys. It can help you navigate through the different issues that you might run into while using FL Studio. If it did, do me a favor and drop a like on this video and comment down below to help me out in that algorithm. And make sure you subscribe to this channel where we're always offering free vocal presets for artists as well as different tutorials and tips to help make your music making process even easier. But if you want some of them vocal presets, all you have to do is click this playlist on your screen. Or if you feel like it, just go ahead and watch our last video that's also going to be on the screen right here for you. Peace.